This year at the Crucible, five players from China made it through qualifying, and one of them in particular is a young man of many talents. I've come to Rotherham to meet him. Hope he's in. Ah, oh, Lou. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Show me around. Thor. So your nickname in Chinese is Thor. Yeah, I call myself Thor because I like. <laughs> Actually, I played piano many years, longer than I played snooker. I was four years old, I played piano. Four? Yeah. My, my parents wanted me to, to play piano. But I still love, still love, uh, because I like music. Actually, I like music. And uh, my piano was uh, level, level, level nine. But I have, uh, I, I can take a uh, level 10, but I have, I have no time, because I need to play snooker after that. And are you excited about playing at the Crucible or do you think you'll be nervous? Yeah, I must be nervous because have must be have many people watching on that, uh, in that place. So it's, it's the first time and uh, yeah, must be very nervous and, and exciting, yeah. And you're playing someone who has won the title. You know, you would have been at primary school when Sean Murphy won in 2005, you know, he's He's had a difficult season, yeah. but he's a class player. Yes, he's still the top player, so of course difficult. But uh, I, I don't want to think too much, just uh, enjoy because I get into the Crucible, it's uh, fin already finished my mission. You found snooker when you were 11. Yeah. How did that happen? Were you watching snooker on TV? Yeah, did you go yeah. to an event? Uh, that was, uh, yeah. My father watched the snooker on the television, CCTV5 in China. Asked my father, what's that? I, I'm very interested about that game. Then my father took me to, uh, to the club and the play. And uh, after the play, I feel very, I like this sport. Then I play, then my father find some coach so I won some tournament in when I was 11 years old. My father's decision wanted me to go to play professional. Yeah. I've never been able to play the piano, but you're, you, first of all, you don't have any music. What are you thinking about when you're playing? Or just is it completely I, I, automatic? Just, uh, I remember everything. Yeah. So, you're, so that's why it's relaxing for you to do that. Because yeah, because some music is very good, like uh, this. I, I play this. Yesterday, very good. From 11 to the age of 13, then comes a really big decision for you and the family. You left the family home to go and learn how to play professionally, yeah. but your grandmother went with you, so she has been very important in your journey, hasn't she? Yeah, history is very important. My parents have walked can't uh, with me go to the another city. So only my grandma can do this. So after like five, uh, five years, she always with me, my grandma. Will she be watching on Sunday? Yeah, it must be on the television, I think. That, that would be amazing for her, having taken you to so many different places and all of a sudden you're on the other side of the world playing in yeah. the most important event that our sport has. That would be a, that would be amazing for her. Have you spoken to her since winning against Tom? Have you said? Yeah, yeah, of course, send a message to her. But uh, when I when I finish the match, my grandma already know. When I just finish, my grandma already send a message to congratulations to me. Yeah. What a brilliant run at the English Open! What happened there? Oh yeah, at English Open, I lost to Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah. No, but I know, but, but yeah. you beat Neil Robertson, you yeah. beat Anthony McGill. It was a brilliant run to make the quarterfinals. Just, uh, I always, I always tell myself, I don't think win. If you think win, you're going to be lost. You can't play very well. You know, uh, when I play Neil, Neil Robertson, I already check out my hotel. I don't think I can win Neil, really. really. You checked out the hotel? Yeah. So when I play Anthony McGill, I think uh, I still have a chance. But Neil, I don't think I have, I have a chance because the first year he's the top, he ranking is the eight, 
that was so and the, he was the very very good player i thought that i i have no chance to win him i really really hope you enjoy your first appearance at the crucible and there's one thing i can promise you in sheffield the crowd love debutants because they realize what a huge moment it is for a player and in your case of course the player's family that you've made it there for the first time so you're going to get a great reception i really hope you enjoy the match thank you thank you thank you i will try my best just do my best betfred proud sponsor of the world snooker championship